Hello, my name is Arch Brooks and I would like to welcome you to this tutorial produced by Brooks Computing Systems. In this tutorial we will review how to create a very simple Hello World ActiveX using Delphi XE. This video is made possible through the technical assistance of Mr. Francois Piet. To initiate the process, we will first click on File, followed by New, and then Other. And we will then click on ActiveX Library. And that will create the repository that we need for the ActiveX. And our next function would be to perform a file, new, other, and then that is followed by active form. And right here in the code class name we will make it uh, my active x. And we'll take the default options and click OK. Now we should be presented with um, an ActiveX form. And here is our ActiveX form. What we want to do at this point is to add a label And we drop that on to our ActiveX form. We'll change this caption to Hello World. And we will do some alignment. We'll say position, align, and we'll center it in the window horizontally and vertically. So that is the way that our form appears at this point. At this point, we will want to do a project followed by a build. And we have built our project. As we continue with the process, we'll simply move over the RIDL. And on the one, two, third line down, is the information for our particular exercise and we want to copy uh, that GUID minus the brackets. To save our project we'll click on File followed by Save Project As and we need to put our source code in an appropriate location. We have an ActiveX subfolder here and we will create a new folder and call it My Active X. And we will, of course, make sure that we change to that subdirectory and we will change our, our IDL file to My Active X and we will do a save. and it wants to know where the unit file should be saved to. We'll keep the same location my div x and we'll designate that with a u for a unit and now it wants to know about the TLB and we'll leave that as the default and finally it wants to know about the project file and we'll make that my Active X P for project. We now have our project successfully saved. We have created an HTML file and what we want to do is make sure we have the correct GUID. So we will just paste one in there 
and now just do a save of that particular file and the HTML for this particular project is ready to go. Now what we need to do is to retrieve our OCX file and we'll do a copy and here's where our HTML file resides so we want to make sure that the copy of that OCX is in that same subdirectory so we'll just do a simple paste and we see that it has been copied there we want to be sure that the OCX is identified properly and make sure that the name of the OCX is reflected correctly in the HTML file. We've made the update and we will do another save. We're now ready to test our newly created OCX and we right click on our HTML file and then traverse to the open width and in our particular case we want to tell it Internet Explorer and the Explorer comes active and it's processing, it's trying it says that it wants to install that particular ActiveX and we will tell it yes in this instance and it says it's installing components and voila there is our functioning ActiveX component I'd like to thank Mr. Francois Piet again for the technical assistance provided in producing this particular video. This concludes the Brooks Computing Systems tutorial on how to use Delphi XE to create an ActiveX component as well as the associated HTML page. Uh, we hope that this tutorial will be useful and we'd like to thank you for viewing.